Hello, Brian Tulsa here. What are you doing today? Today I'm going to give you a tour of my shirt. Uh, this is a, an army uniform shirt. I got it because I wanted something uh, to display some of the patches and buttons that I've gotten over the years. Uh, so uh, this this is uh, how I'm doing it. This is something that I plan to wear um, on road trips and to conventions. And everywhere I go, I will try to get a patch or a pin and I will put it on the shirt. Now there are a lot of G.I. Joe related patches on here. Uh, I mean, obviously, uh, but uh, and there will be more. I mean, it'll definitely be a G.I. Joe themed uh, shirt, which is why I got the army uh, shirt, but uh, there are other things too. So let me take you on a brief tour of the shirt. And I guess let's start over here on this arm. This is the patch that I got from The Finest for being a charity donor. Very solid patch uh, and very high quality. Really nice, really cool. And this is the Arashikage uh, tattoo patch. This is the, uh, the I Ching hexagram uh, that I also have, you know, on my arm. And the patch is actually placed close to where uh, it is on my arm. So... Uh, my uh, tattoo, although it's a bit bigger, will be right under where the patch is on that sleeve. Uh, moving over here, I have some vintage uh, G.I. Joe pins. Back in 1982, um, G.I. Joe had some, uh, some metal pins um, that they sold, and I have some of those. Uh, I've got this one here with the logo and a little gun on it. Uh, there's uh, somebody made this for me and gave it to me at Joe Fest. Uh, that's my old uh, YouTube channel logo. Um, this is one of those um, those vintage pins that says Ranger. Uh, we got a Texas pin. Um, I got it in Texas. It doesn't mean I'm from Texas. I just got a. I, I was in Texas, so I got a pin. Uh, this was given to me, I think, at JoeCon. I think at the last JoeCon. Um, it looks like um, uh, like a Jack Daniels label, but it's it's Star Wars, uh, Star Wars Tennessee Collectors Club, um, and uh, this is a patch from the 1997 uh, Joe Con, which I, I did not attend, but this I thought was a really special piece of uh, GI Joe history, and I wanted to make sure that was on the shirt. Uh, this is from the YouTube channel Carpetbagger. If you haven't checked out the Carpetbagger, uh, it does excellent uh, travel videos. Um, so I, I, I just thought it was, it was cool looking, so I got one. Um, over here, this is a vintage patch, Live the Adventure. Uh, it states that I'm a commander, so I think everyone has to call me commander. That's all right. You, uh, you don't have to call me commander. You can simply call me Your Majesty. That, that's sufficient. Um, there's another vintage pin. Um, this one says Commando. This one actually is... Um, it, it commemorates a friend of mine, and the reason it's... The Commando pin is always um, over my heart. This is... Uh, this pin uh, means something to me. Uh, so the Commando pin uh, has its place over my heart. Um, there is uh, Eskimo Joe's from Stillwater. There is one of my uh, Gold Head Brigade pins that I gave out to my patrons. Uh, so I kept one for myself. Uh, so um, it's represented there. This is um, a pin from the 2014 Joe Con that was in Dallas, Texas. That was for the 50th anniversary. Uh, and I have this because that is the first Joe Con that I actually attended. Uh, and I wanted to have that represented uh, as a pin. Uh, I've got some dog tags here. These are vintage um, G.I. Joe dog tags, um, retail dog tags. And this is another piece from The Finest uh, that I got from their charity drive. A really nice, high quality. And so I've got the dog tags just kind of dangling here. Um, I just liked how that uh, I like how it jingles and jangles when I walk around so we've got the dog tags there um, up here we have steel brigade and this is um, like the patch that's on the figure that's like the 
uh, Steel Brigade patch that you actually see on the figure, not the one that came with the figure. Uh, but I, a guy was selling those, and I had to grab one because it looked cool. So we got Steel Brigade on that arm. The, the rest of that arm I've got to fill out a little bit more. Uh, but let's flip it around to the back. Uh, and we've got a little bit on the back here, but a lot of, a lot of real estate to fill in. Uh, we've got Cobra the Enemy. We've got to support our troops, and that was given to me by uh, some of my friends who are uh, Tulsa County Sheriff's deputies, um, and I thought it was a really thoughtful gift. So uh, as a reminder of my friends uh, in the sheriff's office, I, I have uh, the patch on my shirt. And this I got uh, when I was in New Mexico. I did pick that up uh, on a road trip going through New Mexico. So that commemorates a place that I've been. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of real estate on this side, a lot of space to fill in. But today, in fact, I got some patches from a friend uh, that um, that will help me fill in some of these the, this space here. Uh, I don't know exactly what configuration uh, they will go in, but um, uh, these will this will help fill in some of this uh, empty space here on the back. Uh, might put um, maybe one on the a sleeve or and one on the front, but uh, that's very nice. I got some new patches today. Uh, also, from let me uh, hold on, let me flip this around again. Uh, also from this weekend, since uh, Audrey and I took a uh, Route 66 road trip, I got some some new stuff for the shirts from the Blue Whale in Catoosa. I got the, oops, upside down, there we go. Um, from the Blue Whale, I got this. This uh, will go here on the front somewhere, I think. I feel, I'm feeling like it'll go on that side. Um, and then from the J.M. Davis Arms and Historical Museum. Uh, I got a pin from there, and I'll probably put that one over on that side. In addition to that, in addition to that, um, I got, I've been collecting these uh, G.I. Joe battle ribbons. Uh, these things were given away with some of the figures in, um, let's say, the late 80s. Uh, they can be a little bit hard to come by now, um, and there's a little booklet that uh, tells you what they mean. Um, each one commemorates uh, a fictional battle, uh, in, usually from the G.I. Joe comic book series. Uh, so I'm going to take these, take these um, citation ribbons, and yeah, see, there's the. There's another citation ribbon, and there's the, the booklet. Um, I'm going to take these citation ribbons, and I'm going to put them right here. Um, and that will almost finish filling out the the, uh, the shirt. There is another patch that came off. I'm going to have to reattach it. It was sent to me by a fan, and I thought I had it in here, but I don't have it. Um, but I think um, on this sleeve right under this Steel Brigade patch, I'm going to add um, this Steel Brigade patch, um, and that'll help fill it out. But uh, everything on this shirt has some meaning for me, um, either because it's vintage or because it's from a place that I've been or because it represents a person that's very important to me, like that one. Uh, and this shirt is going to, um, is going to be with me for a long time. That's it. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow.